Introducing Outertech's Wet Electrostatic Precipitator for tail end gas cleaning, the Eddy Tube. Superior removal efficiency and no routine maintenance are a standard in the Eddy Tube. The Eddy Tube unit is self supported and the overall investment is therefore small, making it a pleasure to own and operate. The emission system is supported by dry insulators without any purge air requirements. The dual gas distribution ensures a perfect gas spread across the emission system. The emission system, with the rigid Outertech eddy rod nail design, ensures a high current density in a strong electric field. This is supported by dry insulators without any purge air requirements. Outertech process specialists design the units in an arrangement to suit any application. Now let's take a tour through the unit from the perspective of a particle to be removed. First we travel through the dual gas distribution system and pass the optional fogging system. Now we have the particles uniformly spread across the tube bundle inlet. In the tubes, they are charged and forced to migrate through the strong electric field towards the collecting area on the tube surface, where they are caught in the process liquid, preventing re-entrainment. This liquid collects and is removed whilst the gas goes through to the next stage of the process. Now let's hear from an existing customer using Outertech's Eddy Tube technology. My name is uh, Eivind Omundsen, working for Glencore Nickelwerk here in Norway. I'm uh, in charge of the uh, roaster and acid production and operate the uh, wet ESPs. When we started to look in to replace our old uh, lead-lined ESPs, uh, there were a couple of su suppliers uh, evaluated, and uh, Autotech had uh, the design and the layout that uh, suited well for our our plant and our steel structure for the wet ESPs. We see now that we uh, are able to, um, to, to uh, let's say, get a much cleaner gas into our acid plant. And we see that we have achieved uh, a better performance, especially on uh, our bed number one and the catalyst there that uh, now survives uh, a longer period between each uh, screenings. Yes, for sure. Uh, when we were able to uh, get a cleaner gas, we were also able to remove some of the elements that earlier uh, was, uh, uh, was not harmful, but was uh, ending up in our sulfuric acid and was harder to sell. I think from the start-up, uh, our project team here at Nickelwerk had a very good cooperation with the project team established in Autotech. And both uh, during the technical discussions and contract negotiations, we have had a very, very good uh, cooperation. I think uh, uh, the way it has been handled uh, here uh, in Norway, we have a fairly good uh, internal team that uh, works uh, very well then with the team put up by Autotech. So, so I think we, uh, there is not very much I think we could improve. There has been uh, very little, let's say, let's say trouble with the, uh, the two uh, wet ESPs were put into operations. But when there are issues, we, uh, we re require and expect uh, a quick uh, answer and, uh, and uh, if necessary, uh, access to uh, qualified personnel. Uh, yes, so far we have uh, had a good, uh, good response when uh, there have been any any issues.